Welcome to the IESA Cheerleading 2024-25 Activity Update. My name is Jackie Littweiler and I'm the Assistant Executive Director and Cheerleading Administrator. You can reach me at Jackie at IESA.org or call the office at 309-829-0114. Amanda Powell is our Cheer Assistant and you can reach her at Amanda at IESA.org. ISA Cheer is rebranding for 2425. So what was formerly known as Cheer will now be referred to as Game Day Cheer. And Routine Division will be divided into 1A, 2A, and 3A routine based on school enrollment. For the basketball season, please review all of the cheerleading basketball rules. A couple key points, you can have 12 cheerleaders on the sideline, Free throw line extended must be clear at all times and make sure the officials have room. They have the right of way. There are no tosses and no jewelry. Please make sure to review all of the cheerleading basketball rules and the NFHS rules in the spirit handbook. For our activity update, the competition date is Wednesday, February 12, 2025 at the Civic Center. Um, please make sure to review all of the important dates. A key date there is December 1st, which is the final entry deadline. After that time, our office will be able to divide the routine division by enrollment, um, and we will know what um, category your school will fall in. It will be 1A routine, 2A routine, and 3A routine. Again, game day cheer this year. Um, that criteria will be coming up in another slide. Make sure to review all of the IESA cheer exceptions. The key one is there are no tosses, and then also review the NFHS rule changes for 24-25. Some frequently asked questions that we get in our office, is there an IESA cheer season? That answer is no, we do not designate a start and official end date. The fee is covering the entry fee into the IESA state cheer championship. Uh, we also get the question about majority. Defining majority is majority is half plus one. So however many you have on the floor, for example, if you have 18 on the floor, it would be that nine plus one. So a total of 10 would be um, judged on for the criteria. Congratulations to our 2024 state winners. They are listed there. Again, that routine division changes. So 1A routine will be the smallest one third of schools, 2A routine will be the middle third, and 3A routine will be the largest. Again, that final entry deadline is December 1st. That is when our office will divide them into thirds and we will know the splits from there. There is no longer an option to change divisions. So please make sure that you speak with your administration about what you want to be entered for, game day cheer, routine, or both. Um, a request for an accommodation, please review that. Any athlete that needs a request for an accommodation, such as an insulin pump, a hearing aid, an interpreter, that paperwork needs to be filed with our office and um, approved so that you can have that with you at all times. The game day cheer criteria. So please review this. This is new this year, so please make sure that you review all parts that minute 15 time limit for performance, um, where athletes are entering from, that props must be carried on and off, um, that you must include both a cheer and a chant, palms and signs must be used, um, and that there is no music. So please remember um, to go through all of the criteria. It is one division and you can have up to 25 squad members. A few reminders for competition day, please um, speak with your um, fans and make sure that they are aware of these. So we will be giving three coaches wristbands this year and only coaches and athletes, as well as our host Washington will be allowed in the warm up area. So please make sure that we are not having parents back there taking photos and things like that. So please make sure that they are aware they are not to be in the warm up area. Spectators are also not allowed to bring noisemakers or light sticks to the performance. 
and they must be in a seat. They cannot be um, on the floor or sitting in aisles. So please make sure that you communicate with your parents that they must be in a seat. Please also, we are asking to leave the first row open for the team that is competing so that um, parents and grandparents can come and go um, as their team is competing and get kind of that front row seat. Also, keep in mind that your music must be downloaded to your phone. In Dropbox is not downloaded. So please make sure before you enter the Civic Center that you have your music downloaded. Um, we learned last year that the cell service is not always the best um, in a large venue with a lot of people. So please make sure that that music is downloaded ahead of time. The We See You initiative is a partnership with NFHS for this 2024-25 season. There are a few PA reads you can add for your basketball season there. Also, there will be materials on our website available for you. Again, my name is Jackie Litweiler. I am the cheer administrator. Amanda Paul is our cheer assistant. And Amanda and I would like to wish you a great 2024-25 cheer season. Thank you.